Hi, welcome to Adobe Captivate 9. This program is a lot like PowerPoint, so if you've used PowerPoint before, this will look very similar. So in Adobe Captivate 9, you have a lot more options to work with, so it can be pretty fun. Today for this project, we will be creating a quiz. Now I have a first grader who um, has a teacher that is working really hard in strengthening reading comprehension skills. So I am going to create a quiz for my little guy using a Blue's Clues book. Normally we would go to new, but I am going to work off one I've already started, which is under recent. But I do want you to see what the first page would look like. So I am going to click on new right now. After clicking on a new project, you have these six choices. You would click on blank project. This opens a window to choose your canvas size. I just pick YouTube widescreen and create. You will see that the window that opens looks a lot like PowerPoint. You'll have a toolbar above with themes. You can pick one that they provide for you here. You have slides with different setups here. Normally I use blank slide. Today we are actually going to work off a project that I already started. I have four slides done and we will put together the fifth and sixth slide. Here is the first page. I took a picture of the book Blue's Windy Day by Blue's Clues Discovery Series, this is book nine, and uploaded it to my library. You come up here to media, click on image, and it brings your picture up. And I'll show you how to do this when we create the fifth slide. You can also record onto the slide so that as your child is reading, they can also hear it. So we will, we will record for this slide. Want to make sure that you're using the microphone from your computer. Wow, it sure is windy. Blue and I are excited because we've been waiting for a day like this to try out our new sailboat. Hey, would you like to sail our boat with us? You would? Great. Now it's recorded what I've just said and you'll save it. You can see that I've recorded something by this icon here with the volume signal. So I typed in the words from the first page and then I created a multiple choice slide to go with it to test reading comprehension. What do Steve and Blue want to try out? Is it a kite or a sailboat? Let me show you in preview mode what the project would look like when you're not in the editing mode. And we'll play from project. You can look at just a particular slide from a slide and some other choices, but we'll look at the whole project. Wow, it sure is windy. Blue and I are excited because we've been waiting for a day like this to try out our new sailboat. Hey, would you like to sail our boat with us? You would? Great. Now it comes to the second slide. What do Steve and Blue want to try out? Hmm, was it a kite? No, it says try again. We'll click on the other answer, the sailboat. Yes, correct. Click anywhere to continue. 
This will bring us to the third slide, which I have not recorded anything onto it, but I can go back and put on the recording as I've shown you. And then it will go to the fourth slide, which asks another question. What makes the boat go faster? Is it rain? No. Listen closely. It's wind, correct. Okay, we'll exit out of this. We're back in our editing mode. If I decide to rearrange or if I added a slide and I want to put it in between the first two, I would just lift it up in the left. You can rearrange like this just by sliding it up and down. Now that I'm in the fourth slide, let's add the next slide. You go up here to slides, click on blank slide, and you'll see that it's just a blank slate. Well, I want to add a blue background to go with the theme of my Blue's Clues book. Over here on the right is your properties. If you click on properties, it gives you the option to change your background. Here, I want to click on custom. Under solid, there's three different choices. I stay on solid. And the color, you can pick. I'm going to stay, I believe it was this one. Also, uh, I want to go into timing because as I played around with the other slides, the three seconds that it gives you is not long enough for a child to look at a page and listen and read. So I think I changed it to 10 on the non-question slides. Let's go back to property. Now I want to add a text box because I want to type in the words from the next page. So I can click on text and add a text caption. And you just click on this box, make it the size that you want. Click inside it to change your words. And the next page that I type in has, uh-oh, it looks like Shovel is having a little trouble building his sand castle with all of his wins. Oops, let's correct that. And actually in the book, Shovel is his name, so we will capitalize that. Oh, typing too quickly for my own good. A little trouble. Building his sandcastle with all of this wind. Then there's the next part that says the wind keeps blowing the sand away. Hey, shovel. If I put some water on the sand, maybe it won't blow away. Good thinking, pale. Okay, so now I want to move this. I'm going to click so that I have these options with the little squares on the outside. I know I can move it around when it looks that way. And put it here for now. Click on the inside to change the font. Again, under properties, I have options to change the fonts. I'm going to make it larger. Let's try 24, 36. You can see that now the font has left my box, so we need to change that. And as you move your box around, 
it will automatically move your typed words. Now, I would, I would like to upload a picture. I took a picture with my phone of this page of the book and uploaded it to my library. We'll click on Media and Image. This is the one that I want. It's going to look really big at first. This is where you need to resize it. So I click on Edit Image, Fit to Stage, click OK. And now you can see you can see the whole picture. And again, you have these little white squares showing me that I can click and grab. So I am going to resize this down until I like the way it looks. Maybe I'll make it since it's two pages. I think I will move my font, or I'm sorry, my text, like this. And then I'll click on the picture. And again, the little white boxes are there, so I know that I can move this around. Let's make that a little bigger, like this. on the outside. So we've changed the background color, we've added text, and we've added media. If we want, we can also click record to add that to the slide so that my child can hear the words that I just typed instead of just reading it all on his own. I'll go back and do that later. I'd like to show you how to add the quiz page to partner with what we've just typed. So this is where we click on slide and there's, there's different ones you can use. I'm using not just the question slide which can score and grade, but the knowledge check because I don't really care about grading or what score he gets. It's just the practice of checking his knowledge. So we'll click that. You can pick all sorts of different types of questions, true, false, fill in the blank. But for him, we're just going to use the multiple choice. And you can see that this is not available to click on graded because we're a knowledge check. If we click the other slide that said question slide, you could choose um, from some different options in this graded box. It opens up this new slide for us. We will click here. You can see again we have these little white boxes. Click inside to change the text. And what should we ask? How about um, uh, what is the wind doing to the sand? And then you have two options here. And you can change how many options. You can give as many options as you want. We're just, I'm just sticking with two because he's in first grade, but you can pick three, four, or five. So type the answer here. Um, the wind is blowing, no. The sand is blowing away. And then, Another option. What is the wind doing to the sand? It is not doing anything to it. Now the one that you pick here is the correct answer. So when you look at the demo, or I mean, I'm sorry, the preview, and it, how does it know when you provide a correct answer or a wrong answer? That's what you're doing right here. You're saying the sand is blown away. That's the correct answer. So we'll leave that there. Over here, we have timing, which I leave it here because it automatically stops until they answer it. So I don't feel the need to change. If you click on quiz, this is where 
I have two, you could change the number to however many answers you want to type in. Here are the captions you pick. Uh, if he answers correctly, I want it to stay correct, so I will click that box. And then on properties, we will click on. If you click in this box so that um, you get to the background, I'm trying to change right here. When you get where it says master slide background, click on custom. And this is where we change that background color to that pretty blue. And you know you can change the font or the color of any of these boxes here. So there's you know different changes that you can make to customize. But we'll just leave these the way they are. Actually, I do like the text. They use a gray, and I really like it to be a darker black. So I will change that so it shows up a little better. And I'm just clicking on the color box. And here you can see you can change, you know, if it's a line left or if it's centered. You have all sorts of options, whether it's underlined or not, bold. You have all kinds of different things you can do. But for a little first grader, we just need a very simple slide. And that's it. So we've added two slides. We've changed the background color. We added a picture. We recorded a voice. And we created a question slide to check comprehension. We also went over preview. We can watch from the very beginning. And it will take you through all the slides, how it will look. Wow, it sure work. is windy. Blue and I are excited because we've been waiting for a day like this to try out our new sailboat. Hey, would you like to sail our boat with us? You would? Great. And then we answer and we continue through the slides, which I don't think you need to go through all that, but you can see where we added our new slide here. And here. And that is how you create a simple quiz. And in this case, we made one for a first grader covering a Blue's Clues children's book to test reading comprehension. Good luck with making your quiz.